Welcome to the Zen Zone. This is probably the most excited I've been for a EUC in a long time. On paper, this EUC we're about to talk about destroys. It is like the perfect specs for a heavy class EUC. Definitely going to be on the heavy side of the EUC world. So if you want a lighter EUC, you're not going to be stoked about this EUC. You probably already know a lot about it. We're going to quickly go through all the specs and stats. First, I wanted to say thank you to everyone or anyone who has helped me on my EUC journey here, this evolution. We hit 100,000 followers on Instagram today, today. So today we are celebrating a bit 100,000 Instagram followers and what could be the best EUC ever made, everything that we've ever really kind of wanted into one heavy class EUC. Again, it's not going to be a light EUC. So if you're, if you're waiting for a light EUC, it's not this EUC. All right. This is going to be a heavy class EUC, potentially a racing EUC, potentially off-road EUC. It's going to be pretty expensive. So, you know, you might not want to uh, off-road with it too much unless it's super padded up. Anyways, all right. Thank you guys for 100,000. I know in like a previous video, I said my goal was to get to 100,000. And I wasn't expecting to get there so quick. So we have to set a new goal. I don't know what that new goal should be. Should we go for a million? I don't know. That seems like a bit too much. Maybe 200,000. What is a good goal? Let me know what you think is a good goal. I'm pretty happy with 100,000. That looks clean. We'll just keep it there, right? <laughs> keep it there. There's no point in what's the difference between 100,000 and 200,000, right? Like, so, well, <laughs> anyways. All right, guys, let's get into it. So this is the V13. We have a rendering. And we've also seen some videos on the Emotion channel of them producing the batteries. The batteries look so clean the way they're produced. And you can monitor every cell, the health of every cell. Again, guys, on paper, this is the techiest tech of, in, like, if you look at Emotion's production facilities, maybe we'll have to pull up a video in a minute if you guys are, yeah, we'll, we may pull up a video here in a minute of the uh, Emotion production facilities. It looks like they're starting to automate everything it's not like human labor anymore it's moving into machines putting these together and assembling these automatically like artificial intelligence it looks like a tesla type factory moving into these wheels and that's what in motion in motion really needs to they're going to really need to keep up with the uh, output of parts and this wheel this wheel could be potentially the wheel to rule them all in the heavy class like this is basically a monster pro. All right, let's go over the specs. So motor idling speed, you guys know this can go maybe, this could be a wheel that you go 70 miles per hour on. And I think it's spun out at like 80 miles per hour. That's pretty fast, right? All right, you, I, for me, I would be happy 60. I don't need to go faster than 65. Keep it below 65, but it could do more than that. So that's nice. IP6. Was it I, 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 IPX6? So it's pretty waterproof, right? You know, as waterproof as a wheel could be. And that they extra like code everything. So it's like, as far as waterproofing goes, I think you could, this, this is basically like car, my car, my Chevy Volt that's outside. I could leave it in the rain, park in the rain, right? Like I don't have to worry about any water. I think this is going to be at that level or close to. Motor power, 4,500 watt motor. So it's 1,000 watts more than my EX. I don't know what my, the master is technically rated at 3,500 too, correct? So this is 1,000 watt more motor than the master, which we're going to talk about that in a minute. How is it able to achieve more speeds? Because the voltage is 126 volts, which is less than the master. All right. And the battery capacity, 3,024 watt hour battery so it's 800 watts more than the master roughly 600 500 some 550 less than the monster pro so oh my gosh man this thing is it's a sweet spot for me i don't think we have the weight i don't have the weight voltage 126 volts battery 3024 i'm pretty happy with that all right fast charging you could fast charge it up to 2.5 hours it's pretty sweet. <laughs> Fully sealed battery compartment. Like that's what I was talking about. Like they're sealing this stuff. Like it's, it's going to be sealed in. Wow. Let's uh, see what other photos we have here. This is like the side profile. Intelligent BMS battery management system. You know, it's going to be like the best of the best BMSs where every cell you could monitor. 
uh, temperature, temperature, that's huge with wheels. You know, my master, I don't have any problems with overheating or anything like that, but you need to know the temperatures of your wheels. That's great. The fingerprint sensor, like that's, I don't know if I need a fingerprint sensor. We're going, we're going like high, but I mean, you might as well. Although that, that's one of my worries with this wheel. We're starting to overcomplicate it a little bit. Do we need fingerprint sensors? I'm not saying no. Long as it, long as like there's no way of, that would suck like an emergency situation or whatever. You lock yourself out or you can't get back into, can't get your wheel started or something like that. But I'm sure, you know, they'll have the software side of that all worked out. But with added layers of complexity becomes more issues like customer service needs to be better at EUC companies because there's just going to be so many more questions. There's going to be so many more issues. Complexity comes more issues. Um, what else do we got? The electric shock. I've never ridden on a EUC with electric shock, so I don't know what that is. Um, you can actually sign up to test this wheel. You have to pay for it, essentially. You have to pay. You're going to be putting your body on the line and like risking your life on this wheel, and you get to pay for that opportunity. Would I do it? Yeah, heck yeah. I would. I'm going to wear tons of safety gear, ride it in a safe spot. Well, like, if I don't get to, I'll be just as happy as if I do get to, right? Obviously, I would like to contribute to this wheel success. I think on paper, it's already going to be great. Like, there's not the form factor. You can put pads on it. Like, there's the pedals look great. I am pretty, the tire looks great. Everything in the renders looks great about this wheel. I love the look of it. It's classy. It's got good, it's going to have, it's an emotion wheel. So it's going to have good lights. I don't know if it has speakers. I didn't see anything about speakers. Anybody know if this has speakers? I like speakers as an urban rider. I like speakers. It's a detection system. People hear you, you know, hear your loud music. They're going to be less likely to run into you. Now, if you're out in nature or something like that, you don't need speakers unless maybe you're like in a situation where there's a bear chasing after you or something, you could like put on an alarm or put on something, you know, to, to save yourself. So I am excited for this wheel. Is it coming out this year? Don't know the cost. What do you think a good cost based off these specs would be? I think if they can get it under $4,000, that's a sweet spot. If they can get it under four thousand dollars, I think I think I would have to get this wheel. I don't know if they can, because based off what I'm seeing, again, I think it's gonna be around five thousand. And that's like five thousand when you can get the Bagode Master. It's not as complex. It doesn't have as much safety features. But I mean, nobody's really having any issues with the Master, especially the new ones that are coming, the production models. The way they are wiring it, the batteries are, is going to be different. It's going to be two batteries instead of just one wired in a series. So it's going to be a lot more safe um, than what I'm riding essentially. But I'm still, I feel safe on my master. I've never had any issues with it. So do you want to pay that much extra for the safety? Some people will, some people won't. Uh, and it's going to be, we need to see it tested too. Because just because we've seen, you know, things on paper that sound great before. And then people ride them and... <laughs> cut out and get hurt. So hopefully this is not a wheel we have to worry about. This is like the ultimate urban commuter here. I would love to commute on this wheel. It might, might be a racing wheel. Can it accelerate faster than the master? I don't think it's going to have more torque than the master, but it will have a higher top speed. So I'm thinking it's more of a high speed motor, whereas the master is more of a torque motor, right? So this is going to be a high speed wheel capable of going high speeds, but it's a bigger tire than the master as well. So will it be able to get that that pep or is it gonna be more like a monster pro where you gotta slowly kind of wind the motor up before you can get up to those higher speeds you know it doesn't just doesn't accelerate as fast as the master the master's like boom, which i love so if this is more of a cruising wheel it's gonna be more like the monster pro which is a great wheel monster pro is a great wheel three thousand six hundred dollar wheel this is probably gonna be a five thousand dollar wheel. So nobody's ever really the new Monster Pros. I have not heard any issues. I think that is like the most advanced riders. They eventually go to the Monster Pro because once they can handle the weight, and they have like a place to put a big wheel like that that can handle the weight, um, they, you get the most range and the most speed, and it's the most stable. And so it's just I I wish I had a Monster Pro. Honestly, it's a great EUC. However, this is a great competitor to the Monster Pro, in my opinion. It's a great competitor to the Commander, competitor to the Master. It's a competitor to so many EUCs in that uh, $3,500 plus range. Although this may be in a class of its own in terms of price. Don't know. 
What do you guys think of the V13? I've talked about it long enough. I want to know what your thoughts are. Is this something you put a deposit down on? I wouldn't mind putting a deposit down on it, or I may wait. I mean, I'm so happy with my master right now. I really don't want much more. So I can play the waiting game. <laughs> you guys, if you don't have a master or S22 or like a good suspension wheel, I would definitely consider this. For me, I I'm, I'm, think I'm going to stick with the master for now and just play the waiting game. 2023, maybe, if it comes out this year, if we start seeing testing it this year, that would give me a lot of hope. Like if we can see testing of it this year, I do hope Emotion takes their time. Take as much time as you need because I want this wheel, but I want it to be perfect when I get it. When I pay that $10,000 for this wheel or whatever it's going to be, whenever I pay the, you know, five, $10,000 for this wheel, don't want any issues and I want it to last. And it sounds like it will last for many, many years. And that's what we want to see. All right. I'm curious to see it. King Song and Bagode because every time somebody else steps it up, forces the other companies to step it up and Leaper Kim as well. So 20 guys, the EUC world's awesome. I mean, way better than the one wheel, one wheel world. I mean, the scooter world and the EUC world, it's like we get new options every year. And uh, with the one wheel world, it's like every like five years they get a new wheel maybe. So I like where we're at in the EUC world, guys. I hope you are having fun. I hope you're staying safe. Hope you can take the time to leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, like my Instagram, like everybody's Instagram. EUC Vibes has a really in-depth video on this wheel I would check out. I'll put a link to his channel below. This is actually from his Instagram. I'm reading from his Instagram and Wheelie Dope is the one that's posted the specs. So I'm reading from those. Shout out to Wheelie Dope on Instagram. He's doing well. EUC Vibes is up to 50,000 followers on Instagram as well. So the EUC world, we're all doing really well and I hope everyone's having a great time and staying safe. Stay in the Zen Zone, guys.